Hello students, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem. It says that replace the force system acting on the post by a resultant force and couple moment at point O. So we have to replace these three forces by the equivalent resultant and equivalent resultant couple moment about this point O. So first of all, we have to find the Rx component of the resultant. And let's define that uh, towards the right is our positive x axis and in the upward direction is our positive y direction. So we have to find the resultant of these three forces. So the Rx component of the resultant will be equal to the summation of the forces or the components along the x axis and towards the right is our positive x axis or the positive component so to apply this equation we need to resolve these two forces along the x and y axis so this 300 pound force will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in the upward direction so this one will be the cost component since the angle is made with this particular component so this is 300 cos of 30 and similarly this is 300 sine of 30 and similarly we have to resolve this 150 pound force which is acting at this particular point and the angle of this force is given in terms of this triangle so we are going to consider this angle so if we are considering this angle then we are going to consider the same angle in the triangle so we will have one component in this direction so this one will be 150 cos of theta and the triangle is given like this this is the triangle so this is 5 this is 3 and this is 4 and we are considering this angle we are considering this angle this is theta so now from this we can say that cos of theta is uh, base divided by hypotenuse so base is 4 and the hypotenuse is 5 and similarly sine of theta is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so now we can say that this 150 cos of theta is 150 times 4 divided by 5 so 150 times 4 divided by 5 150 times 4 divided by 5 this gives us 120 so this component is 120 pounds and similarly we will have one component in this direction and this particular component this is the sine component and this will be 150 sine of theta so let me write that this is 150 sine of theta is 4 divided by 5 uh, sine of theta is 3 divided by 5 so this is 3 divided by 5 so 150 into 3 divided by 5 so this gives me 90 so this component is 90 pounds so now we can add up all the forces or components along the x-axis so we have this 300 cos of 30 this is acting in the positive x direction so we will write plus 300 cos of 30 degrees similarly this component is in the negative x and this is 120 pounds so we will subtract it this is minus 120 and similarly this 200 pounds this is towards the positive x so you will write plus 200 so this gives us uh, 300 cos of 30 minus 120 plus 200 so this gives me 339.80 so our x is equal to approximately 340 pounds this is the rx component of the resultant similarly our y will be equal to the summation of forces along the y axis in this is our positive y direction so now we have this 300 sine of 30 this is acting in the positive direction so plus 300 sine of 30 then we have this 90 pounds this is acting in the positive as well so plus 90 so there is no other force we have these two components only acting in the y direction so this is the ry component is 300 sine of 30 
plus 90 so this gives me 240 so r y is equal to r y component is 240 pounds this is 240 pounds so our x is acting in the positive x direction our y is acting in the positive y direction so we can say that our vector the cartesian vector representation of the resultant will be equal to plus 340i plus 240j and the our x component is in the positive i that is 340 like this this is our x equal to 340 pounds and our y is in the uh, sorry it's in the positive y let me write here this is in the upward direction this is our y so the resultant will be acting like this this is the resultant so we can find the resultant magnitude by applying the pythagoras theorem so our magnitude this will be equal to 340 square plus 240 square under the square root this will give us the magnitude 340 square plus 240 square this gives us 416.17 so the resultant magnitude is 416 approximately so this magnitude is 416 pounds this is this is the resultant this is 416 pounds and let's say that this resultant is making some angle theta with the horizontal or with the x-axis so let's find this angle theta let's say that this angle is angle phi so we can apply tan phi so tan phi is uh, perpendicular so the perpendicular is this r y and this is the base so r y divided by r x and phi will be equal to 10 inverse and r y is uh, 240 divided by r x which is 340 so the phi angle is 10 inverse 240 divided by 340 this gives us 35 35.22 degrees so now the resultant magnitude is 416 pounds and it is making angle phi which has a magnitude of 35.22 degrees now uh, this is the resultant and its angle with the horizontal now we have to replace uh, we have to find the moment of these three forces about point o since we want to replace this force system by a resultant force and couple moments since they are producing some moment about point o so we have to calculate that moment about point o so we have to find the summation of moment about point o so the summation of moment about point o this will be equal to the resultant moment about point o and this will be equal to the the moment produced by these three forces about point o now as we can see that this sine component and this 90 pound component they are passing through that point o the, these two components are not going to produce the moment about point o since their moment arm from point o is zero so only this component this component and this force they are producing the moment about point o so this cost component is producing the clockwise moment about point o so the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive so this is producing the clockwise moment so we will write minus the clockwise moment is negative so minus 300 cos of 30 into the moment arm which is the perpendicular distance of this cost component from this point o is 2 plus 2 plus 2 so this is 6 so we will multiply it with 6 feet similarly this component this 120 pound component is producing the counterclockwise moment about point o so we will write plus 120 and the perpendicular distance of this 120 pound force from that point o is this this is 4 feet so 4 feet is the moment arm of this uh, 120 pound component and similarly this 200 pound uh, force is producing the clockwise moment and its moment arm is 2 feet. So we will write minus 200 multiplied by 2. So this gives us uh, minus 300 cos of uh, minus 300 into 6 cos of 30 plus 120 into 4 minus 
200 into 2 this gives me the resultant moment about point oh this is equal to minus 1479 pound feet approximately so now we have to replace all these all those three forces about the about this about point o so this is that resultant force and this is that resultant moment about point o so now we have to show that uh, resultant and moment on that post so let's draw the free body diagram for that post so let's say uh, let's say that this is our post this is that same post and that point o is here somewhere so at point o we will have that same our x component our x component is how much our x is 340 our y is in the upper direction that is uh, our y is 240 240 pounds and the resultant of both of these is r which is acting somewhere here like this this is that resultant and its resultant magnitude is 416 pounds it is making that phi angle and we have this resultant moment about point o and the negative sign tells us that this is in the clockwise direction so we have to represent that resultant moment at this at this particular point o so we will have that moment like this and this is that point o so this is the resultant moment about point o which is which whose magnitude is 1479 pound feet so uh, the resultant the equivalent resultant and couple moment of these three forces about that point o is 416 pound making 35.22 degrees at point o and the resultant moment at point o is 1479 pound feet in the clockwise direction so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning do support my channel by clicking the subscribe button.